Hello to M students. So welcome sa part 2 ng review natin for your pre-final examination in basic calculus. So determine the derivative of the following given function. So we have question number 1, f of x is equal to 2x raised to 3 over 2 minus 3x raised to 5 over 3. So getting the derivative of that, okay, so diretso na tayo, no? This is f prime of x is equal to si, si 3 over 2, i-multiply natin kay 2x raised to 3 over 2 minus 1. And then, subtract 2, okay, ito naman yung isa, 5 over 3, i-multiply natin kay 3x 5 over 3 minus 1. So, isa-isahin natin. So, 3 over 2 times 2. So, makakancel natin ito, no? So, ang iwan na lang is 3. And then, copy x. So, 3 over 2 minus 1. So, again, yung tinuro ko sa inyo sa part 1. 2 minus 1. Ay, uh, 2 times 1 is 2, no? So, 3 minus 2. The answer is 1. So, copy the denominator, which is 2. So, 3x raised to 1 half. Okay. Minus. So, 5 over 3 times 3x to the uh, 5 over 3 minus 1. So, ito mga cancel natin. So, may iwan na lang is 5. And then after that, okay, copy x. So, 5 minus 3 over 1. So, parang ganito, 5 over 3 minus 1. So, ang ginagawa natin, so yung denominator natin, so copy 5. 3 times 1, that is 3. So, the answer is, okay, so, the answer will be 2 over 2. Uh, 5 over 3. Yeah, I think, ah, okay. So, the, ang denominator pala natin is 3. Oh, nakalimutan ko. 5 minus 3, that is 2. Okay, 2 over 3. So, therefore, this one is 2 over 3. So, ang derivative ng f of x natin is 3x Okay, 3x raised to, so natin, okay, so this is 3x, 3x raised to 1 half minus 5x raised to 2 thirds. So that is the answer. It's, this will be the answer. Next. Okay, for question number 2, we have f of x is equal to x raised to 1 half. So, f prime of x is equal to, cap, okay, yung exponent that it is 1 half times x raised to 1 half minus 1. So, ano mangyayari? So, this is 1 half x, so 1 half minus 1. So, kumbaga yung 0 0.5 minus 1, so magkakaroon pa tayo ng negative 0.5 or that is negative 1 half. Or pwede naman ganitong, yung denominator nyo dito is 2, and then, that is negative 1 half. Since bawal tayo magkaroon ng exponent na negative, so anong ginagawa ulit natin dyan? So copy 1 half, and then, times, ibababa natin yung x raised to 1 half, para mawala yung exponent na negative sign. No? So, that will become 1 over 2x squared or pwede naman 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay. Since uh, ito class pwede na ito, no? itong sagot na ito, pwede na yan. Pero kung wala yan sa choices, of course, i-check nyo pa. Pwede kasi natin isulat yung x squared as a. Ah, Sorry, not x squared. x raised to 1 half as square root of x. So again, pwede natin isulat yung x o raised to 1 half as square root of x. Okay, so kaya siya naging square root of x dito. Then after that, since may radical naman yung denominator natin, pwede natin i-multiply sa square root of x, both numerator and denominator. So magiging anito, square root of x over, so this is 2, Square root of x times square root of x, that is x. Okay, so square root of x over 2x. So 
this is the answer. Okay? Next. So we have f of x is equal to 5x raised to 3 over 2. So what we're going to do, of course, sundan lang natin yung pinagagawa natin. No? Uh, we have, so f prime of x is equal to, so 3 over 2 times 5x 3 over 2 minus 1. Okay? So, copy again 3 over 2. So, copy 5x 3 over 2 minus 1, or that is 1.5 minus 1, that is 1 half. Okay. Now, okay, so, i-multiply natin si 3 over 2 of, sa kay 5. So, 3 times 5, that is 15 over 2. So, we have x raised to 1 half. Okay, so, may pwede pa kaya tayong sagot dito? Okay, possible na pwedeng ganito yung sagot niyo. Or, pwede kasi ganyan. 15, ang x raised to 1 half again, ay pwedeng isulat as square root of x, no? So, pa, uh, 15 square root of x. So, again, sa so yung square root of x sa x raised to 1 half over 2. Okay, pwedeng ito. Pwede ito. So, depende kung saan sa dalawa, saan dito sa dalawa ang nasa choices. Okay, next. So, determine the derivative of the following given function. So, meron tayong tatlo. f prime of x is equal to, okay, so, that is, ang 1 over x squared ay pwede natin isulat as x raised to negative 2. No, iakyat natin. So, again, ito ay pwedeng isulit na ganito kasi nasa baba. Minus, okay, minus 6x plus 4. Sulit mo lang muna natin. Saan natin kunin yung derivative? So, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Copy x. So, negative 2, bawasan ng isa. Minus, ano yung derivative ng 6x? So, that is 6 lang, no? Ang derivative naman ng 4 ay 0. So, therefore, the answer will be negative 2, x raised to negative 3, minus 6. Okay, so again, I repeat the answer. So, the answer is negative 2, x raised to negative 3, minus 6. Okay, I think this is the last question sa part 2 ng review natin. So, kapag ganito, kailangan expand yung muna. No, expand yung muna. So, the given is y is equal to 5x to the 4th minus 3x squared minus 1 times negative 5x squared plus 3. So, expand yung muna ito. Multiply 5x to the 4th times negative 5x squared is negative, okay, 25x to the 6th. Okay, kasi add the exponent. 5x to the 4th times positive 3. So, that is Positive 15x to the 4th. Next naman. So, we will have <coughs> negative 3x squared times negative 5x squared is positive 15x to the 4th. Okay, diba? And then, negative 3x squared times positive 3, that is negative 9x squared. And last, ito, Negative 1 times 5x squared. And negative 5x squared, that is positive 5x squared. Okay. And then, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Okay. So, again, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So, after that, okay, so what's next? Anong next na gagawin natin? So, double check natin, no? I-double check natin. Uh, we try dito. So, double check din lang natin. Baka mamaya mali yung sagot natin. So, negative 5x squared times, that is 25. Negative uh, 25x to the fourth. Negative 5x squared, that is positive. 15x to the fourth. And uh, this is 6. And then, negative 5x squared, that is positive, 5x squared. And then, next, 3 times 
5x to the 4th, that is 15x to the 4th. And then, 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9x squared. Okay, and then last, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Okay, so, tama lang pala. So, pag samahin natin, so we have negative 25x to the 6th power. So, ito pwede pag samahin, that is 30x to the 4th. Okay, and then ito, negative 9 plus 5, that is negative 4x squared minus 3. And then, saan natin kunin yung derivative niya? So, nako... Ito yung expand, uh, expanded form nito, no? Hindi, wala, pa, wala pa tayo sa derivative. Kunin natin yung derivative ngayon. So, negative 25 x to the 6 plus 30 x to the 4th minus 4 x squared minus 3. Okay, so what is the derivative of this? 6 times negative, 5, negative 25 is negative 150 x to the 5th plus 30 times 4, that is 120 x cubed. And then it's negative 8x. Okay, so this will now the answer. Okay, so that is the last question for the part of our review. So, abangan nyo bukas, okay, yung upload ng part 3 and part 4.